Ah, I gotta do all this again. That's that's not cool. That is not cool. Okay, um, this is Dead Rising 2. This is I'm Zero C Cirque. That was a lame introduction, but here's my video. Um, so I played Dead Rising 2 Case Zero. I beat it. We escaped with our lives with Ugly Case uh, Katie. But um, let's import some junk. Okay. Okay. How do I do bet? Wait a minute. How do I do better with this one that I recently played than this one? I guess my skills must have went up then. Whatever. There we go. So, see, I, I, okay, I just recorded an episode, but I had to quit and start a new game because I just realized that I didn't import it. So this is going to be a continuation from, um, from this. So let's continue. Restart story. What? Oh, okay. So, Dead Rising 2 Case Zero left off with Chuck and Katie going down the road on a motorcycle towards the fantabulous Fortune City. Let's load this screen. Dude, I said a whole bunch of junk. I don't feel like re-saying it. I, I'm pretty sure some editing could have fixed all this, but I'm such an idiot and I can't edit nothing. That I gotta do all this again. Oh man. What's up with all the oil? Do you really need that much oil? I, n I didn't notice that last time. But uh, yeah, so Chuck and Katie go to Fortune City. They barely have any Zombrex left. And uh, Chuck has to do some. Chuck has to do some things. Look at that face. I said that last time. Look at that face. That face is much better than the beta face that um I had to deal with. His name's Chuck. Get it right. Before he stare at you to death. Look at him. Even when he's not looking mad, he's looking mad. Look. He, he was looking so like... My next to Ken. Like, he was, like, so surprised right there, but he looks angry. Yeah, it's that forehead that's just jutting out. I won't be long. So, anyway, when you import data, data, when you import junk from the you know last game um, it takes over all your money and your power points see I'm gonna start this game on level 5 for people who haven't played this game I don't even know why I'm talking like this while this game is what five five four years old or something I might be a little off on that a lot of off cuz uh, my math sucks but um I don't even know why I'm talking like this, but anyway, I import the game data. I'm level five. I got two thousand dollars to burn, and we're gonna play a little game. Hey, buddy. I heard you lost your wife in Vegas. I guess you suck at killing zombies. Otherwise, she'd still be around. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's Leon, by the way. Yeah. Oh my god. This long video. I'm gonna be quiet. Well, there's subtitles. I don't need to be quiet for this. But I have, you know, nothing. Nothing to go on. I just don't like how the animation is on Dead Rising 2 and Junk. Because, like, the animation on Dead Rising 1 itself was, like, I can't explain it. I'm not no artist or nothing. I just like the look, like, the look and the feel of Dead Rising 1 better. 
Because Dead Rising 2 is made by Blue Castle Games. Or whatever, Blue Castle. Dead Rising 1 was made by Havoc. I don't know what it is about Havoc, but the way their games look is like... Because I think Havoc, I'm not sure about this, don't quote me, don't say I'm stupid, don't say I don't know what I'm talking about, because I don't know what I'm talking about, but I think, I'm not sure, because I had the game that Havoc kind of helped on uh, L.A. Noir, and L.A. Noir looked beautiful, well to me, to my eyes. But uh, I just don't like the way this game looks. It's like, the <laughs> See, when I when I get around to playing Dead Rising 1, if I ever get it back from my brother, which I probably won't, I'll probably have to buy it again. Like, Dead Rising 1 looks way better than Dead Rising 2. Although there's more in this game. There's more in this game. Okay, let's kill some zombies. This is, um, man, I forgot the name. Terror is Reality. Yeah, that's what it's called. This is Terror is Reality. It's a game show, you know, you go around, kill a few zombies, do a few stuff, and you get money. It's good. So, uh, you do this stuff. You, uh, this is the intro to the game show. There's an option in the menu that you could rewind go look at it. It's Terry is Reality. There's a whole bunch of games. You could take the money from that and put it in your story mode. Like, you can just go play it and be like, hey, I want a million dollars. Terry is Reality. Let me put it in my game. Alright, Leon. Come on now. Play fair. ba -doo. So the big pink ones right here, the one with the pink... What are those? Are those just balloons? Anyway, the big pink ones right here, you get like bonus points for those, which is why I have, you know. I don't think you can lose that. If you lose, I don't know what the cutscene is because I never lost. But even if you win, they're still like, <laughs> they're still mean to you. I don't cuss, so I have nothing. I have nothing to say. Look at this big racial stereotype right here. He's a survivor. Come on now. Look, he won and he's like, where's my money? Like, he's not even happy that he won. Oh man, I need to put my game on private. Some dude can just jump in my game. Oh wait, I can just deny them. I, I, yeah, I'll just do that. Well, I'm playing on busy anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot their names. It's like Crystal and something else. Come on, so many cutscenes. So this video right here, part one, it's just going to be the opening. Yeah. Then I'll just start from there. So I'll just play this motorcycle part, which I just did, and do the whole next part and get to the safe room. I'm going to try not to spoil anything, but <laughs> I played this game like, like ten times. So I know some junk here and there, but I haven't played in a while, so I might forget some stuff. So don't bash me on that. No one watches this anyway. I can do anything I want. Wasn't he, wasn't he Fausto? That that dude right there was Fausto on um, Dead Rising Case Zero. The dude you give beer to and just throws up. And he's happy about it. I don't even know what cure means either. Average citizens, they have to put that there. See, 
Yeah, I'm kind of on the average citizen side. Like, they're too far gone to come back. They're decaying. The zombies I'm talking about, they're decaying. And I mean, even if a loved one of mine... I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but even if a loved one of mine turns into a zombie, what has to be done has to be done. Yeah, take the elevator up a floor and then straight down the hallway. You can't miss it. It's not like you can save them if, like, their lower jaw falls off and they're all rotting and junk. I'm sorry. Look, see, I got $2,000 right there. I'm level 5. <sighs> and I'm running a little faster. See, I started this early, and I got to this point, I'm like, whoa, I'm level one, what's up? Then I'm like, man, then I just, we had rather restart it. I like the shirt better. Oh, wait, I'll save it here. Okay. Oh, amber. I guess it's amber and crystal. Is it crystal? Let's see. Dude, Chuck, you're a perv, man. All up in their dressing room and junk. Alright. Yep, 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 mm hmm. God, just lighten up. Dude, I, I think Crash, I mean, why am I saying Chris? Crash, Cre yeah, Crash. I think Chuck just needs like a little, he needs a little R&R, &R, man. He's a little stressed out. Good night, ladies. <laughs> oh, man. Some of the lines on this game... Like after after I beat up people, some of the lines are just. I think Chuck just needs a little R and R, man. <laughs> he has too much stress on him. Come on, wake up. You ain't dead yet. <laughs> she caught me slipping. So he was just talking. He should be fresh. He should be a fresh zombie. But look at his face. Why is it so decayed? He should be a fresh newborn baby zombie. And he's just standing there watching him get eaten and junk. Alright. I'm pretty sure if you wanted to... You could sit here and boost on these zombies. What? What? What happened? What happened to the? Du what happened to that one? The dude with the jacket, huh? But anyway, let's go ahead and walk past everyone who's dying here. Let me pick up a guitar. You can't save any of these people, and I just killed her. I put her out of her misery. That's that's. There's an achievement. No, there's not an achievement for that. But I put her out of her misery. Drake, I'm sorry, but you know, how do you die that fast? But you could uh, you could sit here and boost if you wanted to, I guess. But I'm not gonna do that. Get off of me! Oh my God, the woman still go. F okay, get off of me! Chill out. All right. Oh my God. All right, I gotta play for real. I was just running through them. I gotta play for real. You go to the green room. I don't I don't even know what I'm not that's 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 a lame joke. Katie. Hey Katie dead, man. Get off her. She's already infected. 
Oh no, that's not Katie. Katie, watch. How can you even hear? You got headphones on. They're not even con What are they even connected to? Uh, I guess they're just wireless, but. I give that face a 10 out of 10. Kabooing! You ain't touching my daughter, dude. Hey, Erwin, get up! Erwin, no, Erwin, 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 you stupid dude. That's what happens. That's what happens. There's nothing else to say after that. That's what happens. So anyway, here's once again. You see, I'm carrying someone, and the zombies are like, no, they're like, uh, I can't eat a little girl. Anyway, you can't save any of these people at all. I've tried. I've actually, I think I tried to save one of the women. It might have been Andrea over there. I actually killed all the zombies around Andrea. And <laughs> I left and in the notebook and shit, she's dead. I'm not sure if I want to change clothes or not. Because I might not. I'm going to just keep the clothes I have the whole time. But you know, that jacket. I'm not sure about that. Oh, no. Not again. Hmm? People getting eaten everywhere. Come on. Just. You can punch a zombie in the jaw. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Look, Chuck Green's holding someone. He's holding someone running past the zombies, and you couldn't punch a zombie in the jaw. Come on. We're almost over with the introduction. We're gonna have to take our chances in there, kiddo. Well hurry up, the door's closing. I'm trying to make it look all dramatic and jump. Now you okay, okay, okay. I just thought about this. You see how the door closed and everything? Night. Wait, come on, come on to the next scene. Come on, with the loading screens. Oh my god. I'm trying to make a point here. This game ain't, it don't want to work with me. With the loading screen, I, I'm not, no. That's too much editing for me. How did, look, the dude, tank top, tattoos, red hair. How did he get here? I'm wondering that. How did he even get in here while Chuck ran forward? Ran ahead of him. And he was up there with a gun shooting. Don't worry, Katie, I got your back. I'm not sure, but there's something about games that make you take care of someone that people kind of like. I mean, I like games oh, like that. Don't worry. I 
I've got song racks. Don't worry. Yeah, well, you better have a lot. Because there ain't none here, and the rescue ain't coming for three days. Three days? Yeah, the reserves will already be mobilizing. But their first priority is to quarantine the city, and that takes time. <clears throat> They'll enter the city at first light three days from now. That's the I think the people at Willamette had a better... <laughs> <laughs> We're better off. Because the people in Willamette, uh, what was his name? Like Brad, the dude in the yellow shirt. Like Brad and Jenna or some Jennifer, whatever. They were off. Like Brad, he went out and got supplies. What what is what does Sullivan do? All he does is sit there. Spoiler alert! All Sullivan does is sit there. Introductions. My God. I know games have to start somewhere, but this isn't the way to do it. We don't have any I was gonna get some right after the show. We still have time. Where are you gonna get it, Dad? You let me worry about that, okay, kiddo? But anyway, games that, like, you take care of people, like The Walking Dead. Speaking of The Walking Dead, by Telltale Games, I might get that. It comes out of December 3rd. I'm not, I'm not gonna get the downloadable junk because I don't have a lot of room on my, my, um, hard drive. I only got around 5 or 6 gigs left. But, um, I might do a Let's Play on that. I know a lot of people in the world a lot of people in the world a lot of people in the world did a let's play on this but I don't care I'm zero which exactly the number of views I get anyway um I'm zero C circ I don't care I'm going to do a let's play on it because I want to I don't do it for you I do this for me for my satisfaction but anyway like the walking dead um this game I can't think of any others. But like games where like you got a person that you got to like protect or keep with you the whole time or bring stuff to or like keep well like come back to them give them health or something. I like games like that. It puts you into like this it puts you into like this atmospheric mood or something. Like like you actually care for the character. Like, you keep coming back to Katie, you can give her stuff. It makes you care for the character. It gives them more real ability. That's not even a word. Jersey Sir, created a word. Real ability. Real, realism. Realism. No, I'm using real, uh, real ability. Give some more real ability. I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna put the suit on. Let's see what I got here. Oh, Shaun of the Dead. That's what I'm putting on. Putting on the Shaun clothes. I think we're, uh, I think we're good now. Orange is the new black. Okay. So these, these right here, these are the clothes from, um, Case Zero. Uh, but Shaun of the Dead is much better. Because you got red on you. So that was the introduction. Uh first video, you know. Introducing all the aspects of the game, not really cuz <laughs> you're not introducing aspects. But um that's that. Whatever. Thanks for watching. No one watching. <laughs>